Coach, going into uh, the first week of practice, was there anything in particular uh, that you wanted to work on, or do you feel like uh, you just continued the process of how you've always been coaching? Yeah, after you've kind of been doing it a while, you kind of have different steps that you go through and uh, different boxes you want to check um, as you kind of go along with it. You want to make sure that you know, people remember, you know, what we need to do defensively, what we do with our rebounding, you know, the basics in our, our motion offense. Um, Want to work on getting in shape and getting lots of shots up. But, um, yeah, it's just kind of – you kind of have a, a system that you just start working through. Yeah. Um, Dora, can you talk a little bit about um, the leadership on this team this year? I know that uh, you have a Stephania back, and uh, Callie's been a big part of the leadership. How are you guys uh, going to work on um, all leading this team this year? I think everyone has their different roles uh, in a way. And, um, for example, Delaney Moore, she'll take on the leadership off the court. She'll make sure that we know where to be at what time. Like, she's she's on it for everything. and. On the court, it's more Steffi and Callie and me trying to like keep them uh, team motivated and make sure that we're competing at all times, that there's no walking in practice and that everyone's going as hard as they can. Yeah. Um, coach, in a year where discipline is just as important um, off the court as it is on the court, uh, how do you feel about your players leading this year? Pretty good, you know, uh, I think off the court, um, we're, we're really trying to be as responsible off, off the court with our social distancing and mask wearing and um, doing all those things that kind of slow down the spread of COVID um, and trying to keep it away from our team. You know, we're, we're scared of COVID, we're scared of COVID spreading. Uh, we're really scared of quarantining, <laughs> you know? So uh, we, we experienced a little bit of that this summer. And, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a tough thing to go through um, from a mental standpoint, an emotional standpoint, uh, you know, where you, you're not allowed to go anywhere and you're at home, and, but you're still trying to do school. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough thing. But, um, you know, I think we're mature enough to handle it as a group. I think we're doing a pretty good job. It's nicer to have an older group that kind of takes things, takes things a little bit more seriously. Um, how important is uh, versatility on this team this year, knowing that there might be some players that might have to sit out for a while because of COVID? Uh, really, you want a bench. Yeah, I mean, you're, you really need to have a bench this year. But um, the way some of the quarantining rules are set up, you know, if one person on your team gets sick, everybody quarantines. So, you know, um, maybe that doesn't really matter. I mean, because if someone goes down, the whole team will have to quarantine. Uh, Dora, looking at uh, the schedule that you guys got last week, um, is there a particular game that you're most looking forward to playing in, or are you going to take it uh, one game at a time? Um, I think we're going to take it one game at a time, but I still have kind of a chip on our shoulder from Idaho from last year, so I know we're working towards that game. We're working towards getting better and uh, beating them this year. Uh, seeing that the schedule is you play the same team back to back, uh, how do you think you guys are going to execute execute when uh, that first game you either win or lose? I think we're going to keep playing in no matter what, like the second game we're going to play as hard as we can no matter if we won or lost. Um, it's important that we don't take the first game and play less hard because we won and we think that we're better. I think um, we need to play both games like we haven't played them in a while and um, just never take anyone for granted no matter the score and uh, keep, keep beating. And then coach, uh, what do you think about playing the teams back to back? I think it's exciting. It's kind of like um, uh, a WNBA playoff you know, a multi-game playoff, you know, where you're playing the same team in a series of three to five games. And um, it's just different and unique. And, and I know it's it's not ideal. And you're missing out on some home games uh, that you normally have and some road games you'd normally have. But um, it's, it's just kind of interesting. It's going to be exciting to see, 
you know, like you mentioned, how, how people respond in that second game, no matter how the first game went and how consistent can you be um, through those two games? Yeah. Um, we're not really sure if there's going to be fans in the stands yet, but women's basketball always has such a great turnout. You've said it from day one when I got here that uh, Pocatello really comes out for their women's basketball. Um, how do you think uh, no fans in the stands could affect uh, the girls this year? Um, it, it makes a difference. You know, having people in, in there make a difference for us. It, it really makes a, a different a uh, difference in our energy levels and our, our emotionally how we feel. Um, they're just, all those people are really important to us. Uh, with that said, we're going to have to just find other ways of making sure we're, we're ready to go. And then Dora, how do you feel about possibly playing in front of no fans? Um, it's definitely going to be different and something that we need to get used to, but um, as long as we have a strong bench that's going to be there to keep it loud and motivate us, I think um, that's what's going to be important. Um, and then Dora, uh, you kind of talked about how when you came in, the seniors were a huge influence on you uh, going into this season. Uh, how have you kind of been influencing the freshmen? Um, just trying to teach, teach them the culture here and uh, trying to keep the same things around that um, there shouldn't be anything um, there's that we, we need to be good on and off the court that we need to, especially with the COVID situation, we need to be wearing our masks, sanitizing and um, just staying healthy and not putting ourselves in situations where we could get COVID or give COVID or, um, but on the court, I think just working hard and being competitive. I think that's, that's one of the biggest things. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the team chemistry. Um, I know that maybe you guys, can't go out to movies or do uh, previous things that you've done in years past. But uh, since there is more inclusion this year with kind of like a, not being able to go out because of COVID, do you guys feel like you're almost closer as a team this year? Yeah, I think so. We've been hanging out, hanging out a lot um, on the weekends and spending time together in our houses and watching movies in a house instead of going to the movie theater. I think the biggest difference is that we're not hanging out as much with other athletes and other teams. We need to keep it in between our teams. So that's the only thing that's kind of been different when it comes to hanging out with people. Um, and then coach, is there um, any difference in the freshmen coming in this year uh, previous years due to COVID? Yeah, it, they just don't get uh, the traditional start and they don't get the traditional freshman year experience. You know, um, it, you don't have your college football games that you're going to in the fall and the tailgating. And um, there's just a lot of social interactions that they're missing out. And I feel for them, but, you know, hopefully we, we can make it up to them next year. Um, but it's, um, it's not ideal, but I think they're handling it well. You know, they're, they're, they're um, just trying to pick up on what we're trying to do around here and, and learn, like Dora said, our culture and, um, and, and try to fit in. Uh, what's it been like having a Stephanie back on the court? It's been awesome. You know, uh, <laughs> when her, her waiver went through, we felt like we won the lottery. You know, <laughs> it was just a lot of stress. It was a lot of frustration. Uh, just to, to, to get her through the, the, that waiver process. But um, I know she feels like she's uh, been given a second chance. And, um, you know, from a physical standpoint, she feels pretty good with her knee. And, um, yeah, it's just uh, a, a real blessing to us uh, that, that she's back again this year. Yeah. Um, and then last question for both of you. Um, going into this season and just seeing how – uh, crazy this year was with COVID and then just the possibility of not knowing when you guys were really going to get to all play together. Do you feel like maybe there's more appreciation for the game this year? I'll let you go, Dora. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think so. I think um, whenever you think you might have to sit out, the love and appreciation for basketball just shoots up. I know after like my all of my injuries that I had, that's when you realize how much basketball really means to you and how much you love even practicing. As, as much as I dread practice, sometimes uh, practice is a lot right now. And um, 
we were just happy to be able to practice and play and hopefully have a season. Yeah, and I, I agree with that. You know, it's just you you have a a, a great appreciation for what you could lose, um, and and it really makes you think about how much you love something. Um, if if you possibly don't have it anymore, or, or you don't have the opportunity to participate in it anymore. Yeah, thank you guys. All right, welcome back. We are going to talk with Coach Ryan Loonley and Senior Tara Cool. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, going in with eleven new guys, was there um, anything in particular that you wanted to work on or execute, uh, or uh, was it kind of just seeing where everybody was at? Well, I think all the way back to the summer, um, that's when we really started. Uh, I think the big thing was establishing the right culture within our program, uh, developing the right habits in regards to how we live our lives every day, um, and hopefully how that translates over uh, to the basketball court. Um, I think within uh, what we've done with our group, basketball specifically, we're trying to become a much better half court execution team. Uh, and we want to be able to hang our hat on our defense and our rebounding. Um, Tarek, you're definitely one of the leaders on this team this year. Uh, are you trying to show, um, and especially in a year where you have to show discipline, uh, both on the court and off the court with COVID, uh, what have been some things you and Malik uh, and Austin have done uh, to really lead these freshmen going into uh, the start of practice? Yeah, um, it's definitely been tough, obviously, um, with the new challenges we're faced with this year. Um, and it's just about, you know, coming in with the right mindset each and every day and taking it day by day because of, you know, the uncertainty that we're faced with with this season. Um, and so it's just, you know, having the right mindset and kind of trying to lead these younger guys with that. Um, Coach, uh, the season starts in six weeks. Um, how exciting is that to know that you guys are going to be playing basketball in that short amount of time? And do you feel like you're maybe going into this season with a little bit more appreciation for the game uh, with not knowing if uh, there was maybe going to be a season this year? I think we're excited knowing uh, that we're going to get to play. Um, I definitely think our players feel that way. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we ended our season last year with a win uh, in the conference tournament. Uh, school went online uh, at that point. So a lot of us went our separate ways uh, for a little bit. We got the group back uh, in the summer, uh, started working together. Um, we've really only had a little bit of a pause in that to let everyone return home before classes start in the fall to spend some time uh, with their family. So. I feel as a coach, like we got a long ways to go. Um, we got to improve in a bunch of different areas uh, before we square off against somebody else. I would guess if you ask Tarek the same question right now, he's probably sick of playing against his teammates and ready to play against somebody in a different color jersey. Yeah. Uh, looking at uh, the schedule for this year, uh, seeing that you guys are playing the teams back to back, uh, how do you feel like you guys are going to um, go into that second game uh, coming off of a win and or coming off of a loss? Well, I think it just uh, makes your ability to adjust all that much more important. Not only do you have to have a plan and a bunch of players who can execute that plan, but you got to have a group of guys, uh, coaches and players included, that can adjust on the fly. Uh, I think there's going to be definitely times win or lose uh, the first game. You might have to play a little bit different in the second one. Yeah. And Tarek, how do you feel about the schedule this year? Uh, yeah, um, Coach hit on it a little bit. Um, it's just about, you know, coming into the games with a, a, a plan, obviously, and then being able to make adjustments on the fly. And, uh, you know, with a quick turnaround, playing them the second time, you know, just a day later. Um, it's just all about, like Coach said, execution uh, and being able to implement game plans and, you know, make adjustments. Uh, yeah, Tarek, you know, you came um, uh, here last season, uh, new to campus. Uh, have you guys been helping the freshmen at all? Because they're coming in, but even kind of during a scarier time with COVID, have you guys helped to uh, make the freshmen feel more acclimated uh, to practice and to being on campus at ISU? 
Um, it's been tough. Obviously, you know, I'm dealing with the same things but it, uh, as they are. Um, and we're trying to just navigate that together. Um, and, and in a way, I think that's brought us together. Um, and finding ways to, you know, bond outside of, you know, basketball practice. Um, and finding unique ways to, you know, get better. Um, you know, I think that's what this year has, has just been about. It's just, you know, being able to adjust. Yeah. Uh, Coach, uh, I know that um, with 11 new players, it's kind of got to be hard to know who your starting five is going to be. Uh, do you have any ideas of who is going to start that first game and just how important depth is uh, on your team this year? I could, couldn't even guess uh, who our starting five will be um, the first game. We definitely have some players uh, who are playing well, uh, Malik, Tarek, Austin have done a really good job. Um, they played a lot of minutes for us uh, a year ago. Definitely got a ton of experience doing it. Uh, Braden Parker, we severely missed him a year ago. Uh, just his size and strength and interior post presence. He's had a great summer and fall. Uh, he'll definitely uh, play a big role for us. Uh, Daxton Carr, um, we could have used him a year ago uh, as well, but sat out, uh, served a red shirt year after not getting a waiver after his transfer. Um, we think he can be a fantastic defender and guard multiple positions for us. So we're excited about what he brings to the table. But we have a lot of newcomers uh, who are getting some stuff done right now too. I think Robert Ford, uh, transfer from Clackamas Community College, um, has had some great days. Uh, Liam Sorensen, uh, a freshman from Denmark, uh, has had some really good days uh, recently. Um, Zach Vicenton is another big body. Uh, was the high school player of the year in Utah uh, last year as a senior. Um, we're definitely going to find a way to use his size, even though he's young. Um, Gideon Buzangu is a, another big guy that transferred from Miles Community College. Uh, he'll um, he'll make some waves for us as well. Uh, I think Kyle Karstetter, a freshman from Moses Lake, Washington, um, has maybe improved the fastest. Uh, of any of our players up to this point. And we're excited about him because he can shoot it and I think play multiple positions too. And maybe um, in the same uh, things that I talked about Daxton Card, I think uh, Kyle has some of the same type of athleticism that'll allow him to defend uh, at a high level for us. Um, and then there's a whole lot of other guys. Noble Cooper can shoot it. Uh, Emmett Taylor can shoot it. Um, guys who have that specialty usually find a way uh, to help their team as well. Um, are you going to be uh, encouraging your team just because you don't know uh, how the season is going to go? Do you think that um, just people playing maybe position that they aren't used to playing, do you think you're going to be pushing that more maybe this season? Well, we've already, um, even before official practice started with some of our workouts, put guys in positions that they maybe don't play uh, on a normal day, knowing that we may get in the middle of our season and have foul trouble, injury, or now even a, a possible uh, positive COVID test. So we feel like we got 16 guys on our roster. Um, they all have to uh, make themselves available um, just in case a teammate uh, goes down. Uh, and know that they may be asked to play a position that they didn't think they were going to have to play when they signed up to play basketball at Idaho State. Uh, and then uh, kind of going off of what Coach said earlier, uh, are you preparing yourself in any certain way to maybe play a position you're not used to playing? Uh, a little bit here and there. Uh, playing a little bit more off the ball. Obviously, we have – Coach talked about uh, Robert Ford and Liam. They're um, good point guards, and that allows me to play a little bit of a different position um, and give defenses different looks. And um, so just just being able to play off the ball more um, and also challenging myself to, you know, be, be the defensive guy, um, leader on the defensive uh, end, um, and challenging myself in that way. Yeah. And then, uh, Coach, last question for you. Uh, you guys came off of a win last season, and uh, you got all these new guys. Have you been um, happy with the motivation you got the guys have brought into going into practice? 
Yeah, I think so. They're all hungry. Um, they know that we need to improve uh, upon uh, how we performed overall uh, a year ago. Uh, I think the overall effort level uh, and dedication starting in the summer uh, up to this point has been at a much higher level than where we were uh, a year ago. Um, and I think some of that is just has to do with depth. We have a lot more bodies that are healthy and eligible to play uh, this year uh, than we did a year ago at this time. So I think we feel good about where, where we're at, uh, but we know that we're going to have to continue to improve and that there's going to be some days where we got to face some adversity probably because of COVID and still find a way to stick together, stay on the same page too. Yeah. Thank you guys.